Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me, which you guys requested to see I'm going to be talking throughout it a little chit chat just about book stuff about other random stuff So if you're getting ready in the morning if you're chilling grab grab a snack grab some coffee Grab whatever. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm actually going to a bridal shower today so I gotta get ready pretty fast and I also haven't filmed in this location in a while so if I do if the lighting fluctuates that's why I try to make it pretty did I do a good job I don't know out a tweet asking what do you guys would want me to talk about if I did a get ready with me so we're gonna go check that out. Um, I'm gonna be first off applying moisturizer while that happens. But this is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Okay, so Saj just said you could talk about how amazing I am, but that'll be a long video, so maybe something that you think about a lot. So for instance, my mind is always on certain things like traveling or food. Ever consume your thoughts, maybe let that out. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Sajid. Okay. I do look at the viewfinder, it's because I'm not trying to, I'm trying not to ruin my whole makeup, especially because I'm kind of in a rush, but I did want to film this for you guys today. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to start off with primer. This is the Cover FX primer, and this is an illuminating primer. This is a big question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lot of things. Life, school, future. Whatever my horoscope said that day is in the back of my head. Um, whatever my tarot reading was that morning is in the back of my head kind of thing. But I'm actually going to go with the eye look right now because there's probably going to be a lot of fallout. But it's good that I primed right now. I'm going to be using the Naked Smoky palette. Which in that video, my last video, you guys requested this look so much. So I'm going to give it to you right now. Let's hope it turns out similar to the last one. But I'm going to be taking the gray color, which is called Password, and putting that into the crease. Then I'm going to be taking Dagger and Smolder and putting that all over my lid. As you can see, it's like this really like navy dark blue. Oh yeah, I was talking about thoughts. I, talked, I mentioned tarot stuff, which I've wanted to talk about a little bit. Um, so... If you don't know, I received this book, for, I requested this book for review, and it was a tarot reading book. I know some of you guys commented, and you're like, tarot cards are not, are bad, and then some of you guys were like, oh my god, you do tarot? Like, cool. And especially on other social media, a lot of you guys were like, oh my god, you do tarot? That's, that's cool. I recently got into doing that whole thing. I'm just going to take Slanted and Armor and press that onto the lid. I recently started getting into that whole thing, mostly for, honestly... I am curious about it. At first I was just kind of doing it to like, I don't know, experiment, like have fun, like just kind of s see what the appeal is, like almost study it, like to s because I love learning about stuff and that's something that's always really interested in me, but I never really like got into it. So I decided to, and it's honestly, I, at first I didn't even know if I believe in all of it, but something about, it, even if you believe in it or not, something about having a bunch of cards and learning how they work and the process of how they're laid out, how you can lay them out for certain different, for certain kind of folds and certain kind of sets. And then I'm no expert, absolutely not. I still barely know what I'm doing. But the thing that I like about it is that it's just, you can self-reflect a lot through it and it could guide you as well. It really depends and it's honestly just fun and that's all I really have to say about that. It's really fun and I do look at my horoscope almost every day. I try to look at it every day and I just like it a lot. I think it's really nice and it kind of just, I don't know, it's something that I can kind of rely on in a way and it's just a bit of guidance throughout the day. So that's why I look at it so that's why I look at it and why I've been reading some books about stuff like that. I'm just mostly just looking into it basically. So right now I'm just adding some more black into like the outer crease. Um my cat, if you don't know, I have a cat. His name is Brutus. 
he's um adorable he's a british short hair i adopted him in september he was actually a gift for my birthday because i've always wanted an indoor cat because we do have outdoor cats that are more feral because i live in the country he's adorable i love him so much he's doing good he's honestly so weird at night like this guy runs around the house like galloping and it's the middle of the night i'm like honey relax <laughs> if i shut my door and he even hears me roll over or if i like grab my phone in the middle of the night or something if i get up he'll start meowing at my door or like scratching at my door and it's the most annoying thing so he's annoying as hell but i love him a lot he's like my son so yeah he's doing well i know a lot of you guys want the vlogs back which i hope to start them back event like soon or eventually and yeah but you'll see him in the vlogs because i know all of you guys like seeing my cat in the vlogs because he's adorable i know he's cute i love him too getting some cover effects spray dusting that don't get it on my lens and i'm going to be going into the aurora anastasia palette and i'm going to be of course this doesn't have a mirror i'm going to be taking the color orowin orowin it's this blue and i'm going to be putting it in the center of my lid and a little bit in the inner corner as well now that we've talked about my cat uh, a little bit of tarot stuff thought let's talk about book stuff what are you guys currently reading let me know down below I would love to know what you're currently reading. I am currently reading, I just finished my reread re of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda in preparation for Lee on the Offbeat that comes out, which will be out by the time this video goes up. So I just finished that. I'm reading the, cr I'm almost done the Crucible for school. I'm reading it with my class. I just started 1984 by Orwell. And by the way, yes, I did put the stand on hold for now. And that's just because I can't, it's, if I'm reading it right, like I tried reading it and I didn't like give up, but I just don't, I am not in the mood for it at all right now. And if I would like make myself read it, I'm just not going to enjoy it as much. And then you guys are going to be disappointed. And I just, I'm like, okay, well, I'll wait until I want to read it and like I'm excited to read it like as much as I was excited to read it there's a certain pressure to read it especially because I know all of you guys are waiting for a review and that's like the own my like that's part of like the own my own pressure that I put on myself about these sort of things dark, dark look right now I don't know how I feel about it I kind of hate it yeah I kind of hate it but we're gonna try to fix it <laughs> So there's something I did before that I really love doing. And it's where I got one of the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. This one's in the shade Daddy. I wear this one all the time. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of eyeliner with it or attempting to. I'm gonna do this quickly off of camera because this is gonna take forever. So this is the eye look that we're playing with today. It kind of sucks, kind of pissed off about it. But we're trying, we'll fix it, we'll revive it. So, what do I want to talk about book-wise? Um, the video that Insane Reader, aka Caleb, just uploaded. Not just uploaded, because this will go up in a bit, but it was amazing. He talked about reviewers and that negative reviews don't want attention. And my friend Jordan made a response to it as well. And I know a lot of people have been talking about it. And yeah, so um, my friends and I actually talked about this one a little bit. So my book friends and I talked about the video and what we think and I just think Caleb makes a lot of great points and I really like him and his channel I think he's really great to be honest I but anyways about what he talked about I put this on way too soon great I agree with him and I didn't even know really pay attention to that drama was happening like I realized a lot of people were making um, negative reviews for Zenith and rant reviews but it I really don't think it's to get attention at all and it's a popular book so people are going to review it and it's also a chance for a smaller channel like it's a opportunity for smaller channels to get more exposure but that's not the only reason why they're making the review it's not like they loved it and then they're saying they hated it for views 
I just don't think that's realistic to think of the booktube community. I have the lashes that y'all keep complimenting. These are the Sephora and House of Lashes collab pair. You can get them at Sephora, obviously. They, they're not my, f like I love this brand of lashes. This one's not my favorite style but it's very pretty. They're kind of pricey lashes, so I try to reuse them as much as possible. Cause 28 bucks for a lash, set of lashes. Quite a bit, in my personal opinion. What else is there? What would I want to know from the booktubers that I watch? Who are some of your favorite channels is what I want would want to know. So I'm mentioning a few people that I love, just because why not? I can't mention everybody because I'll be all, like I'll be all year and I do plan on making more booktuber recommendations videos because I did do one in the past and you guys did seem to enjoy that one sort of so I hope to do more of those in the future I think it's great to shout out people in your community obviously now I'm just gonna be pressing my lashes together This looks like it hurts, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, for lashes, I know I'll get a lot of questions. Um, to apply lashes, I don't know if you guys have done it before, but I know a lot of people ner are really nervous when they start applying lashes for the first time. Honestly, you gotta practice. It took me so long to get it. I watched so many tutorials and it came down to just um, tweezers. You don't have to get any uh, fancy, anything fancy, but just tweezers does the job and it does it well. So don't waste your money on like fancy lash gadgets and, but like feel free to buy them once you learn how to do it, but you don't need them to do it, if you know what I'm saying. Taking a little bit of this liquid pink kind of shadow and I'm just gonna be trying to like use the little idiot bit to like highlight some areas on my eye. I think that looks okay. I'm so weird about my makeup today. It's because I have somewhere to be and I'm like, I don't know <laughs> what to do. Um, I've never been to a bridal shower before until I was, I went to one when I was really young. I just remember winning everything. Like there's games and I'm like, I remember winning everything, but I was young and like, I didn't know. I don't remember anything. And like, there was no one my age there. Um, not that it matters, but I remember I just, just kind of sat there next to my mom and I was like, oh my god, games, and I'm winning. <laughs> this is the Urban Decay, the new Urban Decay mascara. It's not that new, but it's the one that was like said to be sex proof or something. If you're wondering, I saw a few videos on that. <laughs> yeah, wasn't I gonna talk about booktubers I love? I love how off track I get. Right now, well, I'll talk about who I watched this morning, who uploaded, I guess. I watched Clara's new video. I love Clara. She's just a perfect human. I know no, no one's perfect, but she's just a very, she's very funny, sweet, sarcastic, kind of awkward. Like, not awkward, but she has that, like, humor to her, and I can just relate. Um, and she's overall just a really sweet person, so. And I love talking to her, too, when I do talk to her. Um very sweet person. Um, I also watched Peter's new video. I'm going to be starting on foundation, so I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is the weightless one. I'm in the shade 3.25, if you care. I don't know if you're a similar shade to me, but if you are, then try this one out. I don't know. I haven't beauty garooed in a long time, because that totally makes sense. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to make beauty videos back in the day. Most of them are on private. So good luck <laughs> if you're trying to find those. But yes, I used to make those quite a bit. And then I switched over to booktube. But I still do watch some beauty people. I do love, like I do really like beauty videos. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like it depends who it, it depends who it is. But I like, you know, Manny, Jeffrey, James Charles, like all those people. I really enjoy watching their channels. Let me know if you guys watch any beauty people because I do watch booktube quite a bit, but I also love getting ready to like either booktube, but more recent booktube sometimes, but also makeup tutorials are always fun. And I usually watch those while I get ready, even though 
I like could listen to an audiobook, but instead I'm like not. Great, I ruined something. Yay, I love everything. I love everything. Next, I'm going to be taking my concealers. So I have the Kat Von D one. I've been through a few of these. I really love this concealer. I've, it's like my holy grail concealer. It's full coverage, usually. It's really pretty. It's heavy, sort of. Depends, I have really bad dark circles, just naturally. Also, I don't sleep. <laughs> so, I also have to curl my hair and I don't think I'll have time. Yay, I love being late. No, I don't, I'm never late. That's like my biggest pet peeve actually is when people are late to things. Or like when I'm late, or I feel like I'm late. Like I hate it with a passion. I hate being late and I hate when people are late. <laughs> like it obviously depends, well not really. <laughs> I just hate when people are late. Like just in general. <laughs> because like I'm someone who's like, sometimes I schedule too much like where I'm like every hour I have to be doing something productive. So like even now I'm like, oh I'm getting ready so I should film so that I could um, work on some YouTube stuff. Of course, which I did want to film. No, I really did because I do miss filming quite a bit. If I seem edgy, it's because I feel like I'm running late, even though I'm not. Four, I have to be there at five. Shit, I better hurry up. Um, but yes, <laughs> I'm just gonna be baking. Uh, this is the Kat Von D loose powder. So we're gonna be putting this under the eyes. This just, if you don't know what baking does, I don't know, watch a video on it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, baking just makes everything look flawless when you take it off. It just sets everything. Like it sets. I usually put a lot on because why the hell not? It's fun. It's quite fun. And so that's for my under eyes. Then I'm going to be taking the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going to be using the, this shade right here, the one, the only one that I've hit pan on, and I'm going to be contouring a little bit, a little bit as I like cut. That was so ironic. I can't. I'm like a little bit, literally cuts across my cheekbone. I'll blend it later. I'm just putting this on now so that I can bake underneath it, and then I'll sharpen everything after. I am going to be just doing my eyebrows. I've recently been using the Anastasia Brow Definer. I'm in medium brown and it just has a spoolie on one side and a little pencil on the other. So what I usually do is I usually brush my brow hairs up first, then I like underline it. So that's kind of how I do my eyebrows. I'm gonna do the other one off the camera quick. Next we're going to be applying some blush. So I have this Too Faced blush, it's in the shade love hangover it's very pretty it has like a pretty design on it i'm going to be just using all the brushes i use oh, by the way are like usually real techniques brushes i just really like them and i think they're great so i'll use them okay next going with that aurora glow kit again i'm going to be taking the blue again and i'm going to be just highlighting the cheek bones. This is really nice if you don't put too much of it because it's literally blue, but. I'm going to be taking that color again and putting a little bit more in the inner corner, the brow bone. So then I'm going to be applying a lipstick and I don't really know which one to wear but I think I'm gonna go with, fuck. I think I'm gonna go with Christmas Cookie by Jeffree Star. So we'll put that on. I'm gonna be taking the Too Faced spray and setting my face. completed look we 
got a nice smoky eye with a little bit of brown liner that was used as a liquid i use a liquid lip i did a nudish lip we got some blue gold blue undertones in there it's a look it's a look anyways so thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below again i will have all the products listed in the description box as well and yes thank you guys so so much for watching and if you're new here be sure to subscribe that was the weirdest thing i've ever done um also make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it click the bell do all the shit if you feel like it thank you it's appreciated but anyways we'll see you guys all super soon with a new video. Bye. Here I find what it takes to be alive.